pain of true oppression. Thousands suffered before me so I could be who I am. Some days I feel that we've already won, that hate has been stamped out by activism and love. Johnson and Rivera through bricks, Obama became president. While there exists some remnants of hate-fueled bitterness, simply words, and washed-up ideas, we are finally safe. Some days, however, I come to reality. A Republican screams for genocide. Bodies lay strewn across a gay club. Evangelicals preach these people are not normal. Lesser, subhuman, unspeakable. They have no hope of salvation. St. Sebastian II has abandoned us. Line them up against the wall and shoot them in the back of the head. My father averts his eyes. Some days I wonder whether things will ever really get better. How long has it been? How many of us need to die? A young man raises his hands in the air and is shot anyways. Perhaps there is no future. I am truly doomed to forever feel, to forever suffer for something I cannot control and did not ask for. But even as this endless goddamn winter inches closer and closer to spring, its snow melted by warm blood, divine judgment still looks down, disappointed. And we sigh and keep going.